The time, 1891. The place, Springfield, Massachusetts. The man, James Naismith, the OG of hoops. Hey. Mm -hmm. The equipment, believe it or not, a soccer ball and a peach basket. Two. And that, my friends, is where these come in. Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got something a little bit different because we got an OG basketball shoe with a new gen basketball shoe from the same brand. This is Converse. They're coming together with concepts and they're here to tell you a story, the original story of how things became what they are now. So these guys right here are supposed to commemorate or represent the original game of basketball. Peach baskets with this guy right here. And then not really soccer ball, but you know, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, these remind me of the Grinches, man. Throwing some red laces on these and your money. So both Converse, the brand, and Concepts, the retailer, call Massachusetts home. And these guys right here, again, they came together to tell you that story. And what we've got here is heritage and new stuff, which is pretty cool because I like these. These are dope. Yeah, so these guys right here, this is my first pair of these. I haven't, I, I don't even remember the last time I bought a pair of Chucks for me. Oops. This is my first pair of the actual like 70s version of the shoe and stuff. So the tech, well, there isn't any. And the bottom though is what I like because they don't have that felt bottom like some of the newer stuff. Like when Nike bought the company, they started putting felt on the bottom because I believe they were able to bring in the shoes, I'm pretty sure, cheaper because they were considered slippers. These guys have full rubber bottoms just like the originals. Clearly I wasn't around in the 70s, so I don't know if the originals were this shiny. They actually look quite cool, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like this. If it was a black upper with this bottom and everything, that'd be pretty freaking fresh. They're like the CDGs. The Comme des Garçons. Garçon. Nailed it. So that's what these are about. And again, these are supposed to represent the peaches. It's got suede on there and everything. This lace would be fine in here, you know, if you really wanted to play it up, because uh, then you'd be able to have, what is it called? You know, the tree and stuff like that, the vines. They don't grow on vines. Peaches don't grow on vines. They grow on trees, right? What was that movie with the giant peach? James and the Giant Peach. James. Look, what a peach. What a peach. In the back right there, it kind of plays to the whole, you know, heritage and stuff like that. Nothing's on the back of this one, which is really interesting. Also, the uh, the backs right here are different, so that's also cool. It says Concepts, Converse, All Star, all that kind of good stuff. And also, what I think is interesting is the insides, because this is not like any Chuck that I've ever worn. So the inside here, that's foam. That's interesting, because these used to be just like a vulcanized style sole and everything. And this guy right here, is, that's a chunky ass. You know, it's got a little EVA wedge and stuff like that, plus the, the insert or the foam insole. So when I put them on, they were pretty comfortable for a pair of chucks. Like I was like, man, what the hell? Like it's been a while. So I, I dig that. And in case you guys don't know, when you buy a pair of these, go down a full size from your normal size. I only went down half size because I forgot. And then when you match up both shoes, it says concepts. It's dope. That's pretty. I know. I like the little blossoms and stuff. It looks pretty cool. Is that a peach thing? Like a peach Yes. Tree? I just they realized blossom like that? when we lived in Sunnyvale, they would sell peaches over at the mm. community center and it was surrounded by those trees. So yes, mm. peaches do grow on trees. Well, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> we confirmed that earlier. So to me though, because I'm a, a modern day guy, you know, even though I love the Chuck Taylor just in normal colors, this guy right here is the new basketball shoe. So this is like the OG of hoop shoes, the new school version. And this is clearly like a Nike Kobe, but marketed as a Converse and everything. Eric Avar, the man behind some of my favorite shoes of all time. He actually didn't design this particular one. He designed the one before it. It was the Converse BB something, something like that. I can't remember his big ass long name and stuff. Um, they were pretty good and uh, played like a Kobe, like I expected because, you know, he is the one that made all of these things. So uh, this guy right here, you'll recognize from the first version of the shoe, but also if you watched our first video of these, the one that had that like Scarface look, the, the half black, half white with some red. And also this was featured in the Nike Kobe AD NXT 360. One Fly try. Flyknit, yeah, little. FK. 
Mm -hmm. Now that one was a little bit different because it had some like plastic features on there for some support in the forefoot and I believe in the back or and then in the back on the arch and everything. These guys don't have that. This is just a, a regular insert and everything. And I'm pretty sure that this is React foam. And this stuff right here, like when you put these on, they just mad comfortable. You know what I mean? And they're super low profile. Like this is it. Like you sit this close to the floor and then it's inside of this guy right here. Nice and flexible. Although there's no midsole, so it's a little overly flexible at the moment. But yeah, and I, I just really like this colorway because again, if you put in, and I know I know that they came with the, the hemp looking laces and stuff, I don't like that. But if you were to put in some red laces, I think that that would look pretty fresh. Now, as far as sizing goes on the uh, Converse Evo right here, the BB Evo, these do fit true to size. You could go down half a size if you wanted a super snug fit, but true to size, you should be good to go. And I played in the original version. I still haven't gotten a chance to play in these yet because of the whole pandemic and everything. They literally like came out right when the pandemic hit and all the, my gyms shut down. <sighs> From what I remember, the traction was pretty good. It did have some issues here and there sometimes. Depends on how dirty the floor was. And then the cushion, obviously, this is that React stuff that we have in the Kobe models. So, you know, those are money. And then the upper is just real comfortable and stuff. And I like this higher uh, heel counter and everything just because it gives you a little bit of extra padding back there, which the original one was more like this on this bottom. So it had this like really thin upper and all of that cushion down below this one feels a little bit more well-rounded as far as their release date goes january 28th so mark your calendars they're going to be available over at concepts.com as well as converse.com as well as select other retailers fun fact <laughs> the peach that we all know and love today if you like peaches i don't really like peaches but originally were more of this shade really yeah they uh started cross breeding it and so now that's why they're not this green color mm. and are more of the orange color that makes sense for the fade to the orange in there and everything that's cool yeah that is actually a fun fact <laughs> it's so random that you'd never thought that you'd learn about peaches in a sneaker video you know what i mean yeah. but it's cool though i do think that this pack actually represents you and i quite well I love this pack so because there's you right there because that's like that's the first pair of shoes I ever bought you not these but like you know the gray ones mm -hmm. and uh this right here is just me it's like hoop shoes all day mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of cool so they, they're not sold as a pack like together okay so they're a collection yes so it's it's but everything like that is called a pack nowadays you know it's so confusing though because then there really are packs like I know. we did the way of wade one i know and there's been countless other they should call them collections and not packs yeah. but it's just what it is yeah so if you wear like a full size down and chucks but a regular size you know what i'm saying like you can do that you don't ha it's not like the way of wade where you have to get them both the same size okay kudos so, to them yeah so i like that what, what do you think about this i don't know if you've ever seen a pair of 70s chucks either so like do they just look like chucks to you i don't know if you like would notice no, i would like Probably in passing, I'd be like, oh, it's the Converse, but is it mixed with the CDG because of the shininess? And then uh, looking at it more, I'd be like, oh, they have extra stitching. Mm -hmm. So I just, I like them. I like both shoes. I really like these. Like these are fucking dope. And I really liked the first one where it was split. I did not care for that I'm, one. A lot of people didn't, but it's weird because when they're on like the Scarface shoe, like the Air Force One, they love it. Mm. When it's on the Jordan One, that was actually a really 50-50 thing. Some people hated it. But like, you know what I'm saying? And then when they did it on the Converse, people were like over it. Mm -hmm. And this though, this I think is much nicer. It's clean. Yeah. It lends the design well. Like they look sleek, you know? It doesn't look as funky. Mm -hmm. And again, I know that I keep saying this, but if you put red laces in there, you can kind of hoop and Grinches without hooping and Grinches. You know what I mean? Like you get that look. It's like a Nike ID without being a Nike ID. You can have Christmas on your feet all year round. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've pretty much been giving stuff away all in December and all January. I made a joke about him being Oprah and he really... I'm just really living it up, you know what I mean? But I really f with our Discord members because again, they're the reason why we're able to do as much as we do because they help fund the channel, even though these were actually supplied by Converse. So thank you thank to Converse. You. Um, but these were actually sent by Converse a while back. Like I was saying earlier, I didn't get a chance to test them yet because of the pandemic. And when I do, I like these. Yeah, I like so, these. So yeah, these are, man, look at that. Look at how clean that is with the fade. Mm -hmm. That's fresh, dude. Like th this is dope. Not that these are bad, but you know, they look really cool on either side. It would, it would have been dope is if they did black and black so that when you're looking at it one way, it's black. Oh yeah, I always love that. Trend. Yeah, and then when you look at it the other way, it's white. But anyways, we're gonna give these away to one of our Discord members. Hopefully their gyms are open or something in their area because like it's different in every state, yes. which is really frustrating because California. Huh. We're gonna give these to 
do it over here. I hope that you like them. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thanks to Converse for sending these out. And um, again, January 28th is when they drop. So if you're interested, head over to Concepts, Converse, all that stuff. I'm sure you'll see it on social because, you know, that's, that's, a new, that's a new thing. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.